Unit 3, Module 5, Waistlines and Belts. By the end of this module, students will be able to describe different types of waistlines and identify the usage of waistlines in the current fashion scenario. Waistline The waistline is a line of demarcation between the upper and lower portion of a garment. The different types of waistlines can be the empire line, high waistline, low waistline, the kammerbund waistline, drawstring waist, paper bag waist or cinched waist. Empire line. A style of women's clothing characterized by a waistline cut just under the bust is the waistline. You can see an example here. The picture shows a waistline in a casual women's t-shirt. The front has been cinched by gathering the fabric and securing with a band to form the empire waistline. We can see more examples of the empire waistline in the following images. The red dress has an empire waistline held by a sashi belt. On the right is a woman's top. The fabric is gathered at the lower part of the empire line which is usually the purpose of an empire cut waistline. Empire waistline in evening wear. The green dress has empire waistline with lace bodice. On the right is a gown featuring stunning handmade embroidery, beading details, defining the whole back and short sleeve, adding up a sparkling touch and delicate finishing. The empire waistline has beaded chain that gives a comfortable feel and yet a glamorous look. Let us look at the empire waistline occurrences on the runway. The picture we see here is from Valentino's fashion show. The bodice ends just below the bust and the waistline has an attractive belt with a bow tied in the center. The skirt has frilly gathers. The second one is from Blue Marine Spring Summer 2013 ready to wear. The waistline starts just below the bust 
but tapers down into a V shape. The ruffling detail at the waistline adds an attractive feature. The next picture is from Valentino Pre-Fall 2015 collection. Note that the entire dress is made out of the same fabric with some surface embroidery and has an empire waistline from which the skirt starts with gathers. On the right is a picture from Dolce and Gabbana at Milan Fashion Week Fall 2006. The empire waistline has been accentuated with contrast fabric continuing to the shoulder straps. Now let us look at occurrences of empire line in history. The picture shows a gown from 1797 to 1805 belonging to United Kingdom. It is made out of cotton, linen, linen thread and tape, machine woven and hand sewn. In construction, late 18th century neoclassical gowns resemble earlier styles of women's dress. By raising the waistline of the gown, making it out of plain white cotton and leaving off all forms of decoration, an approximately antique look was created. Regency gowns. The Regency era dates from 1795 to 1825, predates the Victorian era. Regency gowns are characterized by a very high waisted bodice from which a lightweight fabric is gathered to fall to floor length. We can see images of Regency gowns here. The yellow Regency gown has a cross bodice ending at the empire line. On the right is a Regency ball gown with empire waist held by a belt. This gown dates back to 1918 to 1920, a soft pink dress with lovely detail. Please note the empire waistline in this gown. This dress is for Honoria, heroine of Just Like Heaven by Julia Quinn. Note that 
the waistline is almost similar to Regency gowns but slightly lower. Just like heaven is set in the 1820s. high waistline. A high rise or high waisted garment is one designed to sit high on or above the wearer's hips, usually at 3 inches higher than the navel level. On the left, we see a very elegant, chic looking picture of a high waisted shorts. It has a tie up belt held by belt loops. On the right is a picture from Martin Grant Spring 2016 ready to wear collection. Note the high waisted trouser here. What we are seeing here is a modern high waisted simple casual dress. The picture on the left shows a high waist pant on a work outfit. The picture on the right shows an elegant casual wear dress with a high waist. The waist is held by a belt. Let us look at waistlines on the runway. The picture on the left shows a dress with high waistline and layers of skirts. Can you recognize what color it is? It is a variation of a Peter Pan collar. On the right is an outfit from Milan Fashion Week having a broad waistband at the high waistline. Have a look at some of these high waist trousers. The black trouser with the striped shirt is high waisted is from Azos. On the right is a street style high waist trouser and a denim shirt. Please observe some more examples of high waist, especially high waist trousers.
low waste. Low wasted pans are also called low rise pans and are designed to sit on the hips. High wasted pans are designed to sit higher than your belly button. That is the difference. Wasted pans are designed to sit exactly at the waistline. The term high rise and low rise are more associated with trousers. The image here shows a good example of a low rise trouser. This is another example of a low rise trouser. This is part of formal attire. So far, we have been discussing about the low rise pants. Now, let us look at low waist dresses. Low waist in dresses could go to any length below the hip. It is also called as drop waist. A drop waist is best described as a horizontal line cut across the body below the hips. What we are seeing here is a casual summer dress with drop waist. On the right is another picture of a drop waist dress. It has a breast yoke textured stretch with band collar and cotton lace trim patch pockets with fixed decorative cherries, puckered sleeves and hidden back zip closure. This is a low waist, long sleeve, cotton velvet dress with ribbon and lace trim. A turn down collar which is similar to a Peter Pan collar. An idle or a decorative button placket. Hidden back zip closure and side pockets. Another example of a smart looking low waist dress in grid print. Let us look at some more examples of drop waist seen on the runway. On the left is a short knit dress with drop waist. The drop waist has some really light box pleats. 
giving the whole outfit a chic look. On the right is a picture from Ralph Lauren pre-fall 2014, shows a drop waist dress in grey. This picture is from Maria Boho, a three-fourth sleeve, drop waist, printed dress. The next one is a drop waist dress on the runway that gives an impression of a sleeveless tee worn with a skirt, but it is actually a whole dress. We are seeing examples of drop waves on bridal wear. A drop waist generally accentuates the hip. What we are seeing here is a bridal outfit by Rosa Clara 2015 bridal collection. From traditional princess ball gowns to sensual mermaid styles. Rosa Clara brings delightful designs to make every bride feel like a glamazon. The drop waist in this bridal wear has been referred to as mermaid style. This is another example of the bridal collection from Rosa Clara in 2015. Please note the diagonal shape of the drop waist, which is called diagonal drop waist. Now let us discuss some variations of the basic waistline, the kammerbund waistline. A kammerbund is a broad waist sash that covers the waist. It is usually pleated which is often worn with single breasted dinner jackets mainly with men's wear. The kammerbund is an Asian origin garment which was first adopted by British military officers in colonial India. You can see an example here. Let us look at a little bit of the history of the Kammerbund. The Kammerbund began in India around 1850 not necessarily as a formal wear, but as a dining wear for British military personnel stationed there. The folks from India often wore sashes around their waist called kamarbands. Kamar means waist in Hindi. 
what we see here is the picture of an Indian Muslim captain of the 19th KGO Lancers in full ceremonial dress with Khamar Band. These have remained a staple in men's formal wear. More examples of the usage of Kamarband in history. The first picture shows a middle class Jew from Tangiers in traditional cloak and Kamarband, 1890. On the right, we can see a man getting his Kamarband tied. A US newspaper reported that the Prince of Wales first imported the garment to England following his visit to India in 1875-76. to 76. The Benefits of a Kamarband 1. Crumb Catchers As the British military first learned, the upward facing pleats served as excellent crumb catchers. In fact, there is still a nickname for the accessory even today. Secondly, they were ticket holders. When the aristocracy adopted Khmer buns, they were often used to hold ticket stubs to the symphony or opera, keeping a gentleman from having to rummage through his pockets for them. Cooler Back to their origin, they were and remain cooler waist covering options than vests. For slimming, Generally, when worn correctly, kama buns tend to make men look taller with a thinner waist. Color moderation. It is a popular trend for modern day weddings and proms for men to wear the colors of their female counterparts to look like a matching set. And as time went by, the Kamarband took its different forms and slowly creeped into women's fashion. The picture we see here is that of Ralph Lawrence 2014 fashion show. It has a white blouse with Kamarband waist belt. The next one is from Josie Nattery, Fall 2016 Ready to Wear Fashion Show. This is such an interesting dress. The cummerbund element, the reptile skin imprinted onto silk. The next one is from Oscar de la Renta, Fall 2017. It is a baby pink suit with an oversized silver cummerbund. We are now looking at pictures from men's runway shows. They are from Barmin 2016 and 17, Fall, Winter, 
men's runway catwalk looks inspired by the military marching brand please note the usage of kamar bands here This picture is again from Balmain's 2016-17 fall winter men's wear. It has a black kamarbund accentuating the red and black outfit worn by the man. On the right is a picture from Chanel Resort 2017 fashion. Also this picture has a kamarbund in contrast black matching to the jacket whereas the main outfit is made out of white now let us look at kamar band used in casual wear the kamar bands seem to be going full circle and becoming a smart informal accessory for men as we studied about fashion cycle we can see more evidences here of the recurrences of kamar band in today's fashion so they are not just an accessory worn only for a wedding and returned with the rest to the tuxedo but now they can be used with casual wear too you can see evidences of it in the images here what we see here is an autumn winter wrap white shirt kamarband waistband please note that here the kamar band has been made out of the same fabric as that of the body on the right is a fitted single breasted jacket in woven fabric with notched lapels and shoulder pads asymmetric cuffs concealed snap fastener at the front and attached kamar band with hook and eye fasteners in the same color as the body it has a satin light lining again a men's wear garment it is a pair of well cut pants paired with a casual shirt creates a clean simple look that is raised a couple of notches by the grey kamar band which makes the usually sharp contrast between black and white more laid back giving it that summery lounging vibe on the right is a simple printed shirt with the blue kamar band band what we see here is a kamar band used as an accessory a raw edge ox blood red leather belt or kamar band on the right we see a bridesmaid dress with nude kamar band waist pleat on the left 
we see a slightly slimmer kamabant with a skirt on street fashion. Another picture of an outfit with a kamabant spotted on the streets can be seen here. It is a kamabant adorned coat which has the same print as the basic body teamed with a fur laden clutch. Some more examples of the kamarband in street fashion, men's garment. Take a moment to observe these looks. Now we are looking at kids wear. You can see a boy wearing a formal attire imitating an adult's dress with the usage of kamaband. It is a boy's tuxedo jacket with a satin kamaband and a wrap around bow tie. Also on the right are girls dresses with kamarbands. It is to be noted that the kamarband was originally meant to be pleated horizontally, but innovations of designers sometimes makes it look similar to an OB belt. A drawstring waist. Any waistband that can be worn on the waist and fastened securely with the help of a drawstring is a drawstring waistband. We can see a picture of a casual shorts with drawstring waist and also a picture of a kid's pant. On the right is a picture of a men's casual knit trousers. In such garments, Sometimes the drawstring waist is also combined with elastic. Drawstring waist in maternity pants. A drawstring waist is very popular in maternity wear simply because of the comfort it gives. Since the size of the waist can be adjusted by easily pulling or releasing the drawstring, it is a common detail used in maternity pants. You can have a look at the images here. This shirt dress is crafted from a crepe woven fabric, features a button placket and a drawstring at the waist. The presence of drawstring in this shirt provides a certain feminine shape to this shirt. On the right is a sleeveless drawstring waist floral linen dress.
This is the picture of a shorts from designer Rombi. It clearly has a drawstring waist. On the right is a picture of designer Stella McCartney Resort 2018 collection. It has an interesting drawstring waist for a pleated trouser and with ruffles on one side. Now we are seeing the picture of a casual shorts. It is a classic fit drawstring shorts. The drawstring gives a gathered or rushed effect at the waist, slightly resembling a paper bag waist. This is a picture of a maternity dress dating back to 1850s. Paper bag waist. Paper bag waist. Paper bag waist pants are pants that have a scrunchy waist that reminds one of a paper bag. They usually scrunch at the waist and are tied together with a ribbon belt. They are chic, elegant and probably not the pair of pants you choose when you are running errands or just trying to be casual. What we see here is an image of an elegant burnt yellow paper bag waisted skirt from Topshop. On the right is another fitted skirt made out of polyurethane with paper bag waistline. It is from Miss Selfridge. Let us look at some more examples of the paper bag waist. The trouser here has black gingham checked fabric with paper bag waistline creating a cute frill at the waist. On the right is another trouser with more or less the same pattern as the first one. It is a mustard colored paper bag waisted skinny trouser featuring a super cute waistline with fill, frill. This is a picture of a houndstooth paper bag short. It has a paper bag waistline with a self tie tassel and finished rope belt, a zipper or a snap button closure with two frontal pockets and two vents at the rear. On the right is a denim stripe paper bag waistlined shorts. We can see 
few more examples of paper bag waistline on the runway. The first one shows a minimal paper bag waistline with hardly any pleats or gathers but with just one pleat in the center formed by a placket at the place of a crotch. On the right is a dress from Stella McCartney fashion show. It has a paper bag waistline created with the help of a drawstring. This picture shows a loose pleated waistline this gives the impression of a scrunched bag when gathered at the waist. Adding volume at the same time as defining silhouettes, the paper bag waist emanates an effortless cool look. This outfit is from designer Todd Lynn. cinched waist. We learnt earlier that securing a garment with a belt is called cinching. This can also be achieved by elastic or usage of drawstring. The only time when cinching the waist was not popular was during the 1920s flapper fashion. We have seen enough examples of the flapper fashion dress to understand it. In all other times, including the current day fashion, cinching is done to enhance the shape of the waist. Thus, almost any waistline could be called a cinched waistline. We can see a picture of a dress here cinched with an elastic. This image is from Alberta Ferretti, Spring 2015 ready to wear fashion show. The waist has been cinched and held in place by an attractive belt. This is a picture of an actress in a Chanel dress during an official presentation of the Hugh musical homage to Hollywood's golden era at the 39th annual Denver Film Festival. Here the waistline is cinched with the help of a belt matching to the entire outfit. What we see here is a very elegant, women's, party-going, simple, slim swing dress with check patchwork in maxi length. Please note how the waistline has been cinched at the waist only at the side seam with the help of a belt. What we see here is a long sleeve ruffle hem midi skirt dressed by Elena Reva. 
This Elena Reba dress features a scoop neckline, long sleeves with tie detail or drawstring detail at the hem. Has a cinched waistline, again created by a drawstring. It also is a midi length skirt with ruffled hemline. Empire line. This is a waistline cut just under the bust. High waistline. This one is lower than the empire line but sits higher than the normal waistline. Low waist. Low waist garments sit on the hip of a person. Kamarband waistline. A kamarband is a broad waist sash that covers the waist. A drawstring waist. A waistline containing a drawstring used to fasten a trouser or a skirt. Paper bag waistline. A paper bag waist pant is a pant that have scrunchy waist that reminds one of a paper bag. Cinched waist. Cinching at the waist can be done by using a belt or elastic or a drawstring to create the shape of the garment. Conclusion In this module, you learnt about the different types of waistlines and also observed the usage of waistlines in the current fashion scenario. Thank you.